We had uh, Charlie Schluter here, uh, and Charlie was, uh, well, he was one of my teachers. I had the pleasure of working with him uh, when I went to New England Conservatory uh, for my master's degree. And Charlie, he's passed uh, principal trumpet with the Boston Symphony. He was there for 25 years prior to that. Uh, uh, he was in the Minnesota Orchestra, principal there, principal in the um, Kansas City Symphony, the Milwaukee Symphony, and also played uh, with the Cleveland Orchestra. So he's had quite an impressive career. You know, to have someone like that, someone who is truly a living legend uh, on our campus to work with our students was a, uh, just a, a real unique opportunity for, for these kids to work with uh, one of the greats. It's important, I think, for the, these young people to know that they're able to do stuff that they didn't know they could do. I mean, I've never done a class anywhere where after even 15 minutes, the person doesn't sound better than he started out. I mean, I know from past experience that I, I approach things differently. I, I don't talk about the mechanics of the trumpet. I can. I can talk about what I do when I breathe. I can talk about what I, where I put my tongue. But I find that's not even necessary. Well, I mean, I can get those kids to play a, a, a short note without telling them, oh, something like that. I, it doesn't matter. I mean, you imitate various sounds. So I can do it then on the instrument, right? As far as vibrato, I don't know what I do, you know. I remember once when I was in, in Minneapolis, we were doing something with chorus. At the intermission, I walked off stage and the principal lobo, who was Johnny Angelucci at that time, who was stay with Tabato, like every other oboist in the world. And he said, hey, Charlie, how do you produce vibrato? I said, I don't have any idea. He said to this woman he was talking, he said, see, he doesn't know either. I thought that was great. I was just really excited when I heard he was coming and, you know, of course, he's just got what seems like infinite wisdom to impart on all the students and everything and I almost feel like I was over-informed. <laughs> just e even talking with him and hearing him play and seeing him is just sort of enlightening because you know he's been there, he's been there and he's done it, he's been successful. And to know that, you know, I could too. I could do all that stuff too because he, he's just a person just like I am and you know, he sure he plays great and that's something to definitely work for and to to keep plugging away at because that, those opportunities are out there.